So really, I think what makes the DFP study unique is the fact that the, 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 exactly what it says, the depth and the frequency of assessments. So this is the, in, in, in terms of what else has been done, this is the biggest study in the world in terms of range of markers that are being assessed to look at progression of Alzheimer's disease. So it's including both known markers that we already know predict likelihood of developing disease and a lot of novel markers as well. And a lot of things like wearables technology, which enable us to gather a whole load of data from people without them even coming into a clinic or a research centre. So again, hopefully this makes it easier for the participants and means we gather a lot more data. So we're doing a lot more, a bigger range of assessments and as I said, we're, we're doing it over very frequent time spans and we've worked very hard to make sure that um, the, the times at which we're doing these assessments work for those individual assessments. So we know, for instance, that if we look at people's cerebral spinal fluid, we don't need to look at that as frequently as, say, a brain scan. We know that there may be changes in the, the brain um, that we can visualise in imaging over a fairly shorter period of time. Um, and so it's important for us to do imaging within the study more frequently than, say, a lumbar puncture to look at cerebral spinal fluid. So that's really the uniqueness of the study.